Hello and welcome to this month's edition of Gravesham 5, a quick look at the events and issues in and around Gravesham. This month the council set its tax and budget for the coming financial year. It means the average householder will pay an extra £4.95 a year towards the services from Gravesham Borough Council. For the coming year and into the future we're going to receive less money from government to assist with carrying out our services. As a council, we're determined to maintain that level of service um, and uh, need to ensure that we can fund that. To do so, we're looking to increase our council tax by 9.5p per week. We're taking on a new acquisition strategy which involves purchase and investment in property to the tune of some £20 million, looking for a substantial income and we're increasing efficiency across all of our services. Within that framework, we believe we can maintain our service and um, continue to provide the residents with all of the extras they've become used to. Elected members also voted to take £150,000 from reserves in case it's needed to contest the Highways England proposals to build a Lower Thames crossing east of Gravesend through either Chalk or Higham. The plans sparked a rally on Community Square from protesters, and our cameras were there. We spoke to Gravesham MP Adam Holloway. But first, here's Higham Councillor Harold Crask at the rally. I think it's wonderful so many people have, have come out here today showing their opposition to this, this what would be a disastrous uh, road scheme through a very beautiful part of Kent. Well, it's good that the council are putting money aside to help in this fight. You don't know what you're going to have to spend money on when you're fighting a proposal such as this. And the fact that the council have put this money aside means there is money there if it's needed. But the reality is they're doing this to solve a problem at Dartford. And people at Dartford have suffered for a couple of decades already for appalling traffic and appalling pollution. Now, of course, it's my duty to stick up for the people here who'd be affected by it. But actually, the truth is that it's not going to solve the problem. The problem is at Dartford, by building a little branch line across our marshes, is only going to reduce the problem at Dartford a little bit. So here's the problem at Dartford. You've got a great big national, international motorway going through the middle of Dartford and Thurrock. But when it gets there, it mixes up with lots of local traffic, people going shopping, etc. People coming in from Essex, people coming in from Kent. So the only way you're going to solve it is if you separate the local regional traffic from the kind of national, international traffic. If I, if I lived in Dartford right now, I would be mighty annoyed that this great opportunity to reduce the problem isn't being taken. And, you know, I, I, don't, I don't, almost don't know what to say to these people here, these constituents here, because I feel pretty powerless against this juggernaut. But we are doing our best and we'll, you know, we'll have to see what happens. Adam Holloway there. There's also a special meeting of Gravesham's three neighbourhood forums on Wednesday the 2nd of March at St John's Comprehensive School at 7pm. Places are limited, so we're also live webcasting the proceedings on this channel, youtube.com, Gravesham TV, in case you cannot get in. February also saw Gravesham help to ring in Chinese New Year with a colourful flourish. I was there to see the fun, along with record crowds outside and a packed Woodville Theatre inside to see the special show. Hello, it's Chinese New Year here. Uh, this is the third year in Bay that we've run this uh, celebration. First it was the year of the horse, then it was the year of the sheep or goat, and this year is the year of the monkey. Now the monkey is characterised by being innovative, curious, and obviously a little bit mischievous. It's also the unluckiest year of the Chinese calendar. The year of the unlucky monkey coincided with Trove Tuesday and that proved to provide lots of thrills for another record-breaking crowd, along with one spectacular spill for one unlucky competitor. Here it is again in our Whoops replay. And that's our 300 seconds from our magnificent virtual studio on the banks of the Thames at Gravesend for another month. See you soon, and don't forget our live webcast on the 2nd of March from the Neighbourhood Forums joint meeting.
If you can't be there, then see it in glorious widescreen from the comfort of your own home. On behalf of the team, bye for now.